Oh, shit! I could totally be British if I wanted to. Hello! Perfect. Pumpernickel. Happy birthday, I hope you like your present. Thanks. So, um, are you like a Pisces? No. <laughs> so, isn't that funny? <clears throat> Oh yeah, I love people. People tell me that I'm really charming and super easy to talk to. Nice to meet you, Mr. Troy. Oh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. He's already colonizing. Uh, what about you? He doesn't speak Korean? I knew it. As soon as he walked in, this guy gave me Mark Wahlberg vibes. You use the Asian accent, don't you? I don't believe you actually love my daughter. I just think you have yellow fever. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to ask my wife and my daughter to come out at the same time. And if you can't tell them apart, and they do look the same age, by the way, you're leaving in a body bag with some spices. These flavorless fuck. What do your parents do besides ask for the manager and less salt? They're both doctors and they have their own practice that they're going to give to me. Omo. <laughs> 아이고 아들아 아 처음부터 그렇게 말해야지 우리 딸이 아이고 <laughs> All right so here's what's going to happen Marky Mark you're going to bring her back by 7 p.m. sharp and if you add to her body count I'm going to add you to mine and I mean that both ways don't test me I haven't touched my wife <laughs> The most whitewashed <laughs> Korean I've ever met. I'm the Korean corn farmer from Nebraska. That's a good one. See, he doesn't get it. What do you think about kimchi? It sucks ass. What's your favorite food? Steak. Steak. <laughs> Can you say in your Korean name? Kukan Jin. <laughs> that has to be racist how you said that. Do so, you know how to say hello? Hi. Oh. In Korean. Oh, in Korean. <laughs> Annyeong. Onion. Onion. <laughs> no way to say that it's the same. That's not okay. You say you want to know how to curse in Korean, right? Yeah. Yeah, you shibai What the fuck? What the fuck? Shibai zikya. Shibai zikya. That was better than it. Chai chinin na. Chai chinin Comment what you think I should teach him. It's the peasant who I saw leaving the city who disappeared into the crowd with Cusco in the back of his car. <gasps> he must have taken him back to his village, so if we find the village, we find him, and if we find him, we find Cusco. Oh yeah, it's all coming together.